Podcast. I'm Dr. Sandy Awofisayo. I'm a public analyst. I'm also a pharmacist. Today, we'd like to look at some public health concerns. And we want to ask you, have you had your Coca-Cola today? Most people take a bottle of Coke or Sprite or Fanta on a daily basis. Fine, we expect Coca-Cola company and indeed any beverage uh, company to ensure that your products have the quality standards. And so what a public analyst does is to take samples of these products and analyze them to safeguard the health of the population. And so what are we going to do today? I'm going to open one of these. And uh, what are the quality parameters I want to look at today? I want to see what the pH is. pH of Coke can be up to 2.5. pH of 2.5 is very acidic. And so I don't advise people take Coke on empty stomach. But most people do that. If you miss your breakfast because you're busy, by 12 1, you are starving. You just get a bottle of coke and the bones and you've taken it. This could cause some erosion of your gastric lining. And so I want to find out the acid content in Coca-Cola and Sprite and any other carbonated drink. After that, we also want to find out the sugar content in Coca-Cola. If the sugar content is too high, you can put some health risk. If the acid content is also not appropriate, it can also cause some uh, issues. And so the first thing to do, if I have to analyze for the acid content in this Coca-Cola, is to take a sample. Let's say by 100 ml. I have the 100 ml beaker here. So that's about 100 ml of Coca-Cola. So I'm going to degas it. What is degassing? Degassing is removing that gas. So you can remember that after you are taking your coke. So I want to remove the carbon dioxide that was put into the water to make it carbonated water. That's what I want to remove. And I did that very simple. Just pour it like this about 10 to 12 times. That is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. By this point, I am certain that the gas in the Coca Cola is already removed. So the next step is to go ahead and titrate for the acid content. But I'd like you to know that this color here will not allow me to see my end point very well. So I need to add something to this. The chemical to this that will remove this color here so that when I now have my indicator and titrate with the base, I can have the correct endpoint and do a little calculation and tell whether the acid content in this Coca Cola is not suitable for public consumption. And so each time you drink Coke or any of these carbonated drinks, note that you need to consider quality parameters. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the notification button down there for you to know whenever I post a new video. If you have any question, all you need to do is input those questions on the comment below and I'm going to respond to you as quick as possible. Bye.